By the end of this video, you will be able to add audio to a part in the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So you're gonna to wanna to have Roblox Studio open and I'm working on a game here. And what I would like to do is add a part to the game, which will have a sound attached to it so that when a player approaches that part, they can hear the sound. I wanted to point out that I will not be showing you how to script on the parts for any audio that you want to attach to the part. So like if you're thinking to have a door open and then hear a creaking sound upon someone opening or touching the door, I'm not going to show you how to do that. That would uh, involve the scripting, but I am going to show you how to at least attach a sound to a part so that a character, when they walk up to it, um, will be able to hear it. The example I'm going to show here is I've got a little tent and a couple of trees <laughs> over on the right hand side here. And I'm I, basically I would like the player to hear some cricket sounds as they approach that area. So let's go ahead and add a part to the game. So I just went ahead and added a part. With this part, I'm going to go ahead and add, add a sound to it. So on the right hand side, you can see the Explorer tab. So I'm just going to rename this part Sound Block. You can rename it whatever you like. And so this block is just going to be playing a sound as they get close to that area. So now I'm going to go ahead and click the Add icon and I'm going to go ahead and type in Sound. So now I added a sound to the block. There's nothing inside the sound yet. I actually have to find the sound to put in there. So in order to find a sound, you can do that two ways. You can go to the toolbox and that'll be on the left-hand side here. And you can click on models and drop that down to audio. And so this is searching the Roblox database for different sounds that you can use. So you've got sound effects and you've got music. So either one of those will work for this. I'm just basically trying to find the sound ID to paste into that sound. And so now I've got different things that I could do. I'm gonna go ahead and search for, let's do cricket. And so these will be some cricket noises. And again, you can always preview the sound here. So you wanna make sure that whatever sound you use is free to use in your games and you're allowed to do that. So let's go with this cricket sound and I'm gonna go ahead and right click. And once I right click in this area, I'm going to click on copy asset ID. So now I've got the ID for that sound and I'm gonna go ahead and go over to the sound block and click on sound. And I'm going to scroll down to where it says sound ID, and then I'm going to paste. So right click and then paste or control V and then press enter. So now I have the sound in the block there. So it will work. And there are some settings here. We'll go over here in a second. Uh, I'm going to show you when I play the game in a second, you're going to hear the cricket sound right away. Okay, so you notice that the cricket sound did not play. And so that, mean, that means I, met, I missed something. So again, with that sound selected, I'm going to go down to the right hand side and you see there's a box here for playing. So I need to click that to make sure it plays. And then I'm gonna go to looped. Looped will make sure that this sound, which I think was like a minute long, will not stop after a minute. It'll keep playing and just keep repeating after or one after another. So now I'm gonna play the game and you're gonna be able to hear the cricket sound now. Good, so you can hear the cricket sound. And you'll notice as I move, it changes from like right speaker to the left speaker. And that's because of where my character is. And so the sound has a kind of panning effect in it. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that. So that was able to put the sound onto the block. Now what I need to do is make it so that that block, uh, the sound doesn't go as far as it's transmitting right now. I, I basically want them to hear it right when they walk up to this tent. So uh, the way you do this is you look at how many studs you have from the tent. So you can see these little squares here. So each one of those is a stud. So I've got maybe about, let's say 20 studs here. Uh, let's make it a little deeper. So maybe let's do maybe like 15 studs for this one. So I'm going to go click on sound again. And then where it says the roll off max distance, I'm going to go ahead and click on 15 for that. And let's see what that sounds like. So now I'm going to go ahead and play. And you'll notice that it's not playing as I start the game. So there's no crickets. Now, as I get closer to that block, the crickets will start. Now you notice it's based on the camera angle and not my avatar. So let me do my camera angle here. So you can see there's the cricket sound and then no cricket sound. So it's based off of the camera angle, not so much the avatar. So you can play around with that distance number to get the right distance for you for the part that you're looking for. And again, there are different other settings you can change on the bottom right hand side when you've got sound selected. Uh, one thing that I like to do is actually instead of doing inverse, I like to do linear. I think that's a little smoother usually with the transitions for the sound. You can actually change the speed of the file that you have there. And of course, you can also change the volume. So if I wanted that to be a little 
uh, softer, maybe a softer cricket sound. I can put 0.3 there, and then uh, that will make it softer. Let me also change that to maybe 20 and see if that makes more sense. So now I'm going to go ahead and play. And again, remember that that sound is coming from that block that I created. And so there we go. So it's off of the block, and that's how the, it figures out how far to, to cast the sound. And if you wanted to, you can just select that block and make it transparent. That way, uh, people cannot see it, and because that block is basically just to create the sound that we want. And I'm going to go ahead, and I don't want them to collide with it either. So I'm going to uh, turn can collide off. I'm also going to anchor it so it's right there every time. And then I need to find transparency, which is near the top. And once I find transparency, I'm going to just change that to a one. And so now that block is invisible, but I was able to put it wherever I wanted it. And if you ever need to find it again, go to workspace and then you can just click on sound block and then you can move it around. You can also press F when you uh, click on sound block and that will also be able to find it as well. So you now know how to add sound to a block within Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.